You guys be proud of me today. I'm drinking apple juice out of a red cup. Don't judge. Uh, Sub Diet Coke. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, and what you don't see it, my notes below. People are getting on me. Why is he looking at notes? Because I, I'm not Rain Man. I can't remember everything, okay? Like shit. Like right now, it's four in the morning. I gotta knock this out, okay? So chill. But as you can see by the title below, we're going over unavailable men, emotionally unavailable men, and maybe why they're that way. And then I'm going to tell you at the end what you can actually do about it, okay? So I'm going to give you five, um, five signs that he's a little emotionally unavailable, what to do, and how to go about it, so on and so forth, okay? So jumping right in, we got number one. He says he isn't looking for a relationship. Now, there are three reasons the guy says that. One, he actually isn't really looking for one. Two, he doesn't want one with you. Or three, he's emotionally unavailable. Like there, he, he's That's a warning. When a guy burns that bridge and says, hey, I'm not really looking for one, don't, don't, hey, don't try to be his 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 holy savior and say oh no you you precious child yes you are you just don't know it yet like i'm the one who's gonna you know who's gonna convert you i'm the one who's gonna flip you no 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 huh? sweetie he's warning you he is telling you i don't want that take that warning get up and run well not really that but just don't try to convert him. Hey, don't, don't, boom, oh lord, don't, don't try to convert him, okay? Don't change him. Don't think you're, don't think you're someone so special that you can flip him and make him realize that no, relationships are great, that he's just, you know, clouded, he just has a clouded mind, foggy mind. No, take that warning, okay? Seriously. Number two, he just got out of a relationship. It, in my opinion, it takes guys a lot longer to heal correctly from a relationship. Now, guys have a show a better like mask, like they can like show a better front that they're that they're over it. But I truly believe just because men are so wrapped up in status and ego and how well uh, or how you know women see them or perceive them that it takes a really long time for a man to get over a relationship especially especially if he's the one who was got who uh, got dumped and left if that's the case then it's going to be very hard for him to get over it. it's going to take months and months and months i'll say six to eight months for him to and this is a decently healthy guy right not a low ego guy you know to get over a relationship so if the guy's not saying you know i i'm, I'm not looking for a relationship you know if he's not giving you that excuse then look at his actions. Did he just get out of a relationship? Did he rush into the one you're in? And things like that. You have to be very, very aware of a guy. And again, just because he, if he just got out of one like you know three or four months ago and he seems happy, giddy, go lucky, but he just got out of one, be wary, ladies. I'm telling you, don't don't go in there balls deep, thinking that you know everything's good and happy, go lucky. There's still damage done there. You gotta let the process take its own course at its pace. Everyone's different. Just let it go with the flow and let them heal. Number three, he's having a hard time opening up. Now there's several reasons a guy will have a hard time opening up to a woman. One, it could be a socially, uh, you know, it could be a social thing. Some guys just don't like to open up to women. They don't feel masculine. They don't feel they uh, that has a strong quality or attractive traits. Uh, secondly, guys feel that um, they don't trust a woman enough to open up. Or third, they feel that they don't want to open up just because they're not ready to open up. Because he felt last time he opened up to a girl, she she crushed his heart, smashed it, and said, "Hey, fuck you, buddy. I don't give a shit about your heart. I'm a, I'm off screwing Johnny this whole time, and you didn't even know it. Makes you a sucker, right? It's probably what he's thinking. If she he got screwed over by you know his girlfriend and Johnny, you know, then I mean that really sucks. So there's reasons he's not opening up. Do not rush it. I always tell women. Make him invest, build rapport, build trust, well, rapport builds trust, and then over time, he will open up to you. Number four is he's hurt from his past. It's pretty self-explanatory. We don't need to go in that one, but it is important to remember if a guy ever uh, mentions something about his past or being hurt or 
um, being screwed over or a woman cheating him or leaving him for another guy, something like that, you know, some, something that has to do with his ego and pride, bet yourself, girl, hey, bet yourself, bet yourself, girl, that it's going to hurt him, okay? And number five, he pulls, he pulls away often. There's probably a lot of reasons why a guy pulls away, but if things are going okay and he seems emotionally unavailable and he's pulling away, he's probably doing it because he's emotionally unavailable, okay? Again, don't rush it, don't prep. If this is the actual reason, you can sit and talk to him about it. I think he'll be honest with you, but don't pressure him. Don't rush him. Don't say, you can talk to me. You can, hey, that's, that's what Sally said until Sally starts screwing Johnny, right? Like every, you know, just like, just like we tell you a lot of bullshit, girls say that stuff to guys too, and then see what happens, right? She, she's pregnant. It's not his kid and they're on Maury or something. It sucks. Okay. Or Steve, what's the other guy? Steve Wilkos? Like they're, yeah, that's not fun. Okay. So what do you actually do about this? Well, here's what I would do. First thing I would do is probably buy a Tempur-Pedic, right? A memory foam mattress. <laughs> and then I would, I'd wait till he falls asleep. And I, right, I'd wait till he falls asleep. And then I don't know why he sleep like me. Probably a vampire or something. You know, people say I look like a vampire in my videos because I'm so white and I wear black. But if I sleep like this, you, you know, you open your eye and you're like, dude, this guy's asleep. You roll over, you grab his phone, and you type in his his uh, password, which is probably like three six four one or something like that, right? So three six four one. You look in it, and you look for any girl's name in the texting, right? You look for any girl's name whose whose last name starts with an I. So if she spells her name Brittany with an I, check that shit out. If she spells her name Candy with an I. Well, if her name's Candy, then you really gotta check that out with an I. You know, if her name is uh, if it ends with the I, right? Check that shit out read those texts and see who hurt him, okay? Because girls that end their names with eyes hurt men. That's just a fact. But in reality, what I would personally do if I was the girl is you have to understand that there's a reason why a guy is closed off. And the worst thing, the absolute worst thing you could do is rush it. Rushing a guy to open up is the same thing as like rushing a guy into a relationship. He's just not ready. And when he feels pressured, he's going to pull away, okay? You have to build trust and rapport to get a guy to open up. It takes time. You have to build depth. And over depth and over time, the guy will actually open up. Now, how do you do that? Again, I, I always say take things slow. Let him take the lead. Don't pressure it. You, I always say build attraction, right? If you're building attraction with a guy, he's naturally going to want to invest more. When he st So you build value. You show attraction or that builds attraction. Then he's going to invest more. When he invests more into you, that's obviously... It's all about time and seeing each other. Like the more time and investment he has in you, he's obviously going to see you more. He's obviously going to get to know you on a deeper and better level, be able to trust you. And over time, he's going to want to open up. This basically, if I had to sum it all up, this is a process. Do not rush it. Let him have fun with you. Have fun with him. Hang out. Let him go at his pace. When he Again, you can't rush someone else on their feelings and where they're at, you know, in life and their mindset and what they, you just can't rush it. All you can be is there at the moment, there at the right time, there for him, he's ready to open up. That's all you can do. Don't give advice. Don't tell him how to get over it unless he asks, okay? That being said, ladies, I love you, especially the ladies that end their, uh, their names with an I. Take care and peace.